uh, I would like the record to reflect that a lot of cops are complaining about me, complaining about them, saying that I'm making this stuff up and that I just don't want them to give me tickets and stupid, silly things like that. When everyone who knows me knows I don't do anything major wrong. Everything that I've ever done wrong is misdemeanor or less slap on the wrist at best. So they have no reason to investigate me and they have no reason to harass me and have prison guards, FBI agents, people from the hospital and my school harass me as well. I have shown you the proof of my MySpace messages. I have shown you the proof. Now let me show you more proof from my Ku Klux Klan video. <clears throat> How many of you watching this think it's a coincidence that this racist cop commented on my Ku Klux Klan must disband Freedom Riders black anti-racist movement crip video? Now, what does he say? He says, please do rise up. Give us regular plain old law-abiding people an excuse to slaughter all of you. Um, rise up and pray to the invisible black nationalist God of the Bible while giving us the excuse we need to pick you off from every window and rooftop. He goes on to say, nobody cares about what a racist criminal street gang says. Oh, so that's why you racist cops give us these kind of labels. Terrorists, criminal street gang, mental disorder, anything you can do to discredit us. Thank you for unwittingly proving my point, you stupid, stupid fuck. Nobody cares what a racist criminal street gang says. My grandfather was a member of an anti-communist action group who took street gangs on all the time. So, he's, he connects himself, after I showed you that video of the Fraternal Order of Police in Miami, this guy connects himself to other government agencies. Do you have any idea what it's veterans, veterans, and anti-leftist leaders? Okay, he goes on to say, I had one crip faggot kid try to attack me for sending him to bed one night, and I quote, he ran up and swung like a girly bitch, end quote. And I quote, he also says, I just stepped out of the way and let him run into the wall. Okay, he makes up some stuff. And he says, he was the first of 14 crips to put a hit on me. I'm walking around. Marine Corps trained me, you Crips aren't shit. So he has just connected himself to masonry, the Marines, other government agencies that crack down on black groups and connect them to street gangs and Democrats. And I go on. He goes on to make mention many things about he wasn't killed for being black. Anything that has to do with race, he gets very offended at. You know why? Because he doesn't want the sentiment of people like me and people who see things the same way as me to spread. I have now proven my case beyond any doubt. If there aren't massive arrests and a massive upheaval of scum from the law enforcement departments, then you know, you know that the government is corrupt. If there is not an investigation and grand jury indictments of these fucking scumbags, then you know the government is not, is, is, excuse me, is very corrupt. If there is not a complete and thorough internal affairs investigation and a separate congressional investigation and an FBI investigation, after all the proof beyond any doubt I have provided you using the internet, which shows the person's IP address, shows the person where he was, time and place, then you know that they don't care anything about justice. All they care about is silencing the black man and keeping us from having our fair constitutional say and have our fair part in the process that we call our system of government. Thank you.